boys and girls, and welcome back to another wonderful and exciting episode of Imaginative Stories. Yay! As always, my name is Glorp. How are you all today? Wonderful! How many of you are ready for Halloween, boys and girls? Me too! You know, I just love Halloween. The decorations, the costumes, and I also love to go trick-or-treating. And that is what today's book is about. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the book titled Sheep Trick or Treat. Sheep Trick or Treat by Nancy Shaw illustrated by Margot Apple. As the Halloween moon rises, sheep are fixing up disguises. They make a mask with glue and tape and a monster suit with a shiny cape. Sheep snip and sew and drape a costume for a giant ape. Sheep shape wool in pointy clumps to make a dinosaur with bumps. Sheep rip scraps for mummy wraps. Sheep pose in spooky clothes. Sheep take lanterns. Arm in arm, they set off for a nearby farm. In the woods, they give three cheers. A sleepy wolf perks up his ears. Sheep amble to the dell. They reach the barn and ring the bell. Sheep bleat, trick or treat. Animals give them things to eat. The horse's treats go in with thumps. Apples, oats, and sugar lumps. Spiders give a dried up fly. Sheep decide to pass it by. Sheep stop by the chicken coops. Chickens give them fresh eggs. Oops! Cows offer hay and clover. Now the trick or treating's over. Back through the woods the sheep parade. It's dark, but they are not afraid. Rustling noises come from trees. Is someone there or just a breeze? Wolves peek out from their hiding places. Wolves see scary lit up faces. Wolves skedaddle. Sheep skip past. They settle down with treats at last. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you all enjoyed today's book. And I hope you all tune in next time for the next book, titled, The Little Old Lady Who Wasn't Afraid of Anything. Until then, boys and girls, keep using your imaginations, and be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, bye!